Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm super excited you're here today because in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 Christmas DIY decorations for 2022. I'm super excited because last week I shared with you 10 Christmas DIYs that were super easy and affordable to make. And if you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it somewhere here in the screen and then also in the description box below so you can get inspired to create beautiful decorations for Christmas. But in this video, I'm going to share 10 more and I really think that you're going to enjoy them. And now I want to take a second to thank this week's brand new members who are Sharon C, Shirley Doctor, Christine Reagan, James Jackson, Hilda, and Wallace Rainbow. Yay! Thank you guys so much for becoming the new members to this channel. You can claim your badge and then also you can start enjoying the members only perks. If you want to become a member and claim your badge and enjoy the perks, all you have to do is click the join button somewhere under this video. And there's also going to be a link in the description box below. Remember to join, you have to use a computer because it's not programmed for mobile yet. And you can also claim that badge and then start enjoying those perks for members only. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna start with the first Christmas DIY, and that's going to be a beautiful swag that can be done over an entryway, a window, or even a door. Let's watch. All right, everyone, so to decorate this entryway into our dining room, I wanna go ahead and put a garland up. I wanna put some lights and add a really beautiful focal point in the middle. So what I need to do first is I'm going to fluff my garland because it is easier if you just fluff while you're down here. Then what I need to do is I'm gonna add some nails to both corners of this entryway and one right here in the middle. Um, and then we're gonna attach this garland over in the top. We're gonna put some lights on it and then I'll show you the treatment we're going to do. But the first order of things is to fluff your garland and for that you have to grab every bristle. Once you have it all fluffed out, what you need to do is find the middle of it right here, make sure it's all straight because actually you know what I recommend you grab both of these corners, the two ends, and that will be the easiest way to find the, the middle of it. Sometimes you just have to wrestle these things. So you basically stretch as much as you can and that's going to be your middle. So now I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna install it and I'll be right back, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so for this, I'm gonna have to roll my sleeves up because this garland is about to get messy but beautiful at the same time. And I wanna talk to you real quick about two things as I roll my sleeves. First of all, these rice lights, um, I love them because they have multiple lights on them and so you can just fluff them once you put them on your garland. So what I did is I attached both of the corners and now what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry if I disappear, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the middle right here so just go ahead and put on your bristle and that way you know how you have evenly distributed lights for the left as well as you do for the right. So basically what you do now is you make sure that you swirl these lights all the way around your garland on both sides. So I'm going to do this side, sorry if I lose you, and then I'm going to go ahead and start over on this side and just going in and out all the way in and out, very loosely, because you want them to show. But like I told you, I like these lights because they really uh, have so many of them, you can just fluff them and point them out as you go. All right, so what I need to do uh, for the center right here is I'm gonna make a bow to match the one on my fireplace. And also this is the ribbon that matches our tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just go ahead and cut a long tail like this, because that's gonna be evenly distributed for both sides. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pinch right here. And if my cameraman can take us up, I'm just going to take a little step right here and I'm going to go ahead and install this guy right here and just twist it with the bristle and I'm going to leave it there for now. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bow. So I'm going to grab one of these guys. I'm going to dovetail. Then so easy. Look at that. We're going to pinch. Then I'm going to go under and make a upper six to eight inch bow. Like this. Now what I like about this room is because the wire is really good and it really holds the shape of your bows. And as you guys can see, 
I'm gonna do a three loop bow. So I'm gonna go under one more time. Then I'm gonna grab one of my wires and I always recommend to have all of your tools ready. That way it makes it easier. So we're gonna go back up and put this bow here in the middle. And that is perfect because that is all the room we have. Then using your wire that you use, we're gonna go ahead and attach to some of these bristles like this. And of course, we're not gonna worry about the bow right now because we're gonna do the same thing with our Harlequin ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. And I'm gonna do one loop. Now I did a three bow with the red, so I think I'm gonna do just a two with this Harlequin. Then I'm gonna grab my wire. Now this is the best tip I can give you having your wires ready because it really does make your job so much easier, I promise you. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and use this wires right here and I'm gonna put it right on the same spot as the other one is, just making sure that it's really tight. I'm grabbing this wire and just swirling around on one of my bristles and if not the same one, if you can find the same one then that works even better. So now you just fluff your bow like this, but we have one more, of course, we're gonna do the glitter one. And be, remember the glitter one always goes at the end because it is mesh and you wanna make sure that it has something on the background to show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a little loop. I'm gonna do actually a, about a six inch loop. Then I'm gonna go under. And I am so in love with this ribbon because it's so easy to work with. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a three loop bow right here. I'm gonna grab my wire and I'm going to really tightly spin around and I'm gonna put it right in the same spot as the other one, right here. So easy yet so elegant. I cannot wait for you guys to see. All right, so now that you have all of your bows, you go ahead and fluff and don't forget to dovetail all of your ribbons, especially the ones that are gonna be hanging down, like this one right here, all right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my Harlequin ribbon down and I'm gonna start doing the loops. Sorry if I disappear here. So I'm gonna do bigger loops. I want it to really show. So I'm gonna go under this bow right here, probably about a 10 inch loop bringing it up and then twisting right here with my bristles. Then I'm gonna grab my red one that we left, remember those longer tails that we've put in first. I'm gonna grab one, I'm gonna go over and then I'm going to go ahead and pinch right here. And then I'm going to put right here and grab my bristles and twist, creating this loops like this. Look how fun. All right, so now I'm gonna continue to do that until I'm done with this side and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna add to this simple swag is gonna be one of these garland of ornaments. Uh, we also put this on our mantle and also on our Christmas tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and divide it. And I want it to be a little taller because I don't want it to hit anyone in the head. So I'm just gonna grab a bristle right here and I'm gonna fold it up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a swag right here. Then I'm gonna grab another bristle and fold up. Then I'm gonna come up and put another bristle up. And I'm gonna repeat over on this side like this. Now make sure that when somebody walks in, it doesn't hit them in the head and it is perfect. Now I'm, the only one thing that I want to add is a few of these specialty ornaments. So basically I'm just gonna grab this on my bristle and fold. And I have some of these Harlequins I have some of these polka dot ones that I want to add. And just go ahead and distribute them all the way through the garland by swirling around your bristle and then just folding up. I'm gonna add a few more of those all throughout the garland and I'll show you the end result. Keep watching.
Now, how fun was creating a beautiful Christmas decoration swag for above the door? This also can be used for a window or an entryway, as you guys can see in the video. And if you don't like these colors, all you have to do is change the colors with the ribbons and ornaments, and you too can create beautiful Christmas decorations this year. Now, I'm gonna share with you a super easy, very quick and affordable wreath for the Porsche. And I'm also gonna share with you a little mini Porsche makeover for Christmas 2022. Let's watch. All right, you guys, so for this project, what we're going to need is two of these Dollar Tree wreath forms. We're gonna need three of this tinsel garlands from the dollar store. I bought three of them. Then what I'm going to need is one of, the, one of these snowman uh, forms from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to need a few packs of these ornaments that came from the dollar store and some berries that I had left over from other projects. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and start by removing this um, hanger and tag from the snowman. And then also I'm gonna grab two pipe cleaners right here. And what I want to do is I wanna kinda decide where I want my wreath to go. So because the snowman is looking to his left, I'm gonna put him right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and decide where my hangers need to be. So I need one right there and one right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove this and put it to the side over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna staple this guy right here. All right, now that I have my staples and my pipe cleaners to attach it to my wreath, I'm gonna go ahead and put him to the side so we can get going on the wreath. So what I'm going to do is first of all, remove him from the tag. And I keep on telling you to put these tags at the dollar store, Dollar Tree people, if you're watching, make sure you don't put this uh, so tightly. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I wanna mention first that I attached two of the wreath forms to make it look more like a donut shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start just by attaching right here. This is wire, so all you have to do is do a knot right here and pull. Some of it will come off, but that's fine because what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sort all this around this wreath until we fully cover it. So I think you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this donut shaped wreath with this tinsel and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone, so once that we have all of our wreath cover on this beautiful garland, I love the way this turned out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring my snowman back into the picture. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and find a place for him, and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it with the pipe cleaners all the way in the back, and just make sure you do it very tightly. As you guys can see, it's super easy. Just give it two or three spins and secure it in place. And I could stop at this right now because I think it looks absolutely cute. However, I'm gonna keep going. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these frosted berries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun right here. I'm gonna stick some glue just to make sure it really sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this guy. You have to do it really quick because they really grab onto that material. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. And just make sure you insert it really quick into your wreath, like that. Then I have some of these really pretty glitter berries. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Just add a little bit of glue, give them a little bend, and insert that guy right there. I love the way this is turning out, but I cannot wait to add a little bit of ornaments to it. All right, so I'm gonna add that right there. So then I have these Dollar Tree ornaments and I'm just gonna put them right there in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue, just a little silver touch. So I'm gonna add one right there. I'm gonna add one right here. And as you guys can see, it really like gets attached to the tinsel and I love it. All right, so then I'm gonna add one of these ones up here and I'm gonna add this silver one. Just be sure you press a little bit. I'm gonna add this cute little silver one. 
in here. And then I have these other ones right here that I got from a past project. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy. Probably just add it right here. Make sure you press it down so it sticks. And I'm gonna add this one right in here. And all of these ornaments came from the dollar store. As you guys can see, this project is under $10 and it is super cute. All we have to do is just give it a try. All right, well, I'm gonna add this last ornament right here. And as you guys can see, this turned out super cute. Actually, you know what? I have one more of these glitter berries. So I'm just gonna grab a little glue. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right here. Like that. And voila, that is what our snowman tinsel wreath looks like. So I'm gonna put this in the door and show you what it looks like. Now, how fun was that cute little wreath, you guys? Super simple, affordable, and that Porsche makeover. I love making over the front porch or any porch for Christmas, and I just love creating decorations like this to inspire you to create something beautiful for Christmas 2022. Now, I'm gonna share with you a little lantern. If you've been following the channel, you know that I love decorating lanterns for Christmas, and this mini one, I think, is going to steal your heart. Let's watch. All right, everyone, so we're gonna start with the smallest lantern we'll be doing today and the easiest perhaps out of all of them, but I just wanna show you how easy it really is to fix a lantern uh, for the holidays. Now, I got this lantern at a local store called Nail Hills, and this is not sponsored, but I'm gonna leave their number down below in case you guys wanna get a hold of it. I don't know if they still have it or not, but that's why I got mine. I got a set of three, and this will be perfect for a tablescape. Let me just show you how easy it really is to put it together. Now, these are the picks that came from the dollar store, and you guys have seen this before because I did a little wreath um, on the video where I did three wreaths. So if you have not seen that video with the three wreaths, it really is something. Um, they come with all these ornaments and cedars and pines and berries. But what you need to do is go ahead and touch every little branch and just give them a little life. Once you have done that, what you need to do is also do a little curve like this because we want to sit right here. So to attach, we need to do a little curve like this. And then you're going to attach both of them like this. I was about to say like so. Um, and then attach these guys with a pipe cleaner. All right. Just make sure that it's really tight. Once you've done that, go ahead and cut your excess like that. And then I already pre-made a tiny little bow that I think it's very proportionate to the size of my lantern. And let me see, we have a little drawer that it opens. So we're gonna go ahead and open that to make sure that we know that's the front. So then what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead, actually I think I'm gonna attach another pipe cleaner to this because I don't think it'll be long enough. And the way you can do that is you just basically attach two of these pipe cleaners like this and then you go ahead and that way you just make yourself a longer one all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach the bow to our little swag and just give it a spin on the back so it stays together as you guys can see this is super easy and simple then what you need to do is you want to go ahead and place that like so and just basically attach it right here to the top so cute super simple full of ornaments cedars and then what i've done for this one i have this uh, battery operated candles that also came from nail hills and they have a remote so you basically just go ahead and click it on and you have yourself a beautiful uh, lantern 
for the holidays. Super easy and affordable. Little lanterns can be put anywhere around the house, whether it's a side table, your entryway table. I even done a chandelier before with all lanterns, but right now I'm gonna share with you how to use the same little lantern decorated for Christmas on a beautiful wreath for your front door. These Christmas decorations are super easy and I really hope that you're taking note. Let's watch. All right, you guys, so for this idea is going to be the lantern idea and this is gonna match our little lantern that we did on our lantern video. So we're gonna use a lantern and a little candle. We're gonna use a green wreath that came from Hobby Lobby and might as well just take that pesky tag off. We're also going to use four of these Dollar Tree picks with all of the berries and the ornaments. You guys know how in love I am with this, guys. So we're gonna use four of those. We're going to use some clusters of ornaments in red and green, some really big ones because I really want to make a really big statement piece on the top. So we're gonna use some of these big ones and I'll show you how do we do those and then we're gonna use this ribbon uh, that says Merry Christmas, ho, 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 and it's a burlap ribbon for the dollar store. Uh, we're also gonna use some pipe cleaners in red to attach our items. So let's get started. The very first thing I really implore you to do when you're doing one of these wreaths is grab your wreath and go ahead and give it a fluff. All you have to do is pull these bristles up because when they pack them, they pack them really flat as a pancake and you do not want to see that on anyone's door. Pancakes are good on the plate for breakfast, sometimes dinner for breakfast, however, not good on your door. So all you have to do is basically just pull. And when you're pulling these bristles, just make sure you do them all on the same direction and just go ahead and rotate while you do that. That way you give it the maximum uh, coverage and it'll just fluff up so pretty and it will look more natural. So all you have to do is touch some of those bristles, not even all of them, but um, I mean, if you're gonna take the time to do them all, that's fine. So this is what the wreath looks like, a little fluffed out. What also you can do is just grab your hand and then do this number right here. We used to fluff hundreds of wreaths at the store where I worked. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here, right? And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a bow. So I'm gonna just drop this on the floor and I'm gonna give it just a little tail because we're gonna go ahead and use a focal point on it. And if you guys haven't seen the video, how I make bows, um, three styles of bows. I'm going to link it up so you guys can watch that as well once you're done with this video. Um, as I told you before, I'm sorry about the music. Back then, I did not know how to edit a video, so I'm really sorry that it's super loud and annoying. But So we're going to use all of the ribbon that comes on this little spool. And these also don't have to be perfect. Keep in mind that to be beautiful does not have to be perfect. And I always tell people, Mother Nature does not create perfection, so don't look for it anywhere in your decor. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this with my pipe cleaner. I just go through the bow and I pull back. It's super easy and simple. All right, I'm gonna pull real quick. I'm gonna twist and then I'm gonna put this sweet little bow right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to my bristles. Or actually, I'm gonna go back. And just attach it, it's a sweet little touch but I'll show you in a second how we're gonna make this bow stand out even better, all right? So then I have two strips of this same ribbon, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold them in half, right, like this, and then I'm gonna pinch, and then I'm gonna attach right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just twist with my bristles, and what you wanna do is just create some loops to kinda elongate that bow shape all the way down like this, you wanna go ahead and loop it like this and just attach it. Give it a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series. And then also please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're enjoying the multiple um, project on each video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spin to my, like this so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm basically just pinch right here with some of those bristles. Now we're gonna cover some of these with ornaments. So once again, it does not have to be perfect. Don't look for perfection because perfection does not exist in mother nature. So why is it gonna, why are we gonna force it? That's my point. All right, so, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and attach here too. Then the next step is I'm gonna add these dollar store picks. Once again, you guys get rid of those tags and then also take a minute to touch every single branch and fluff them out. Everything that has a little wire, make sure that you pull that wire forward, backwards. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a little bend like this, 
pull those ornaments forward. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert one right here. And with my own bristles, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this like that. You wanna do it in a few places. Look how pretty that is. Just one pick of greenery with ornaments and look what it does to this reef. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another one right here. Once again, just using my bristles. And I have four, so I'm gonna do two on each side. But you wanna give them a little space because we're gonna add some ornaments to it too. So just go ahead and add this like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this one over here. Just with the bristles, you just twist that bristle into one of the ornaments or into the pick and look, it'll stay. You could stop right here if you wanted to, but because we are Ramon at home, this is my show, so I'll always like to do more is more. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach the lantern. And this one has a sweet little door that you wanna make sure that it's forward so you can get to that candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here with my bristles for the wreath. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those bristle, uh, bristles through my holder, pull it as far back as I can and as tight as I can. So that's gonna help my lantern stay in place. And when I wanna turn my candle on, I can just go ahead and do that. Like that, I can leave it open if it's for indoors or I can close it. These candles come on a timer and they just look so cute. So I'm gonna leave it on for now. Then the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna create some clusters and I have created this one right here. So basically I also have a video on this if you wanna watch the whole tutorial on it. But what you do is you grab an ornament in a medium size, then you grab a large one right here and then you grab a small one right here and you just put them on this pipe cleaner and it gives you this cluster of ornaments. Then what you wanna do is I'm gonna put this one right here. So I'm gonna pull back with my pipe cleaner. I'm gonna make sure that I secure it. I come all the way down like this. And that just gives it a more Christmas look. And then I have this massive one that I want up here because I want right here, I like to work with sets of twos, threes and ones. So I have two and I have one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this guy right up here on the top making sure that all of my ornaments show. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this with this uh, pipe cleaner. You basically just attach it to one of the bristles, make sure that you twist it really good. And it'll stay there till you cut it, you guys. That's the beauty of working with wire. And then you just basically secure them. You can swirl around one of those bristles to secure in place. Make sure that all of your ornaments show like this. And voila, you have yourself another beautiful wreath. Thumbs up if you like it and let me show you what it looks like on the door. Okay, so if you made it this far into the video, I would really like if you answer today's question, that's going to be, what is your Christmas theme for 2022? And have you started shopping for items yet? Some of the stores already have some of the Christmas decorations. So this is the right time to plan ahead and to get all those items before anyone else does. All right, so now I'm gonna share with you a beautiful mental piece with a snowman theme that I really do think that you will be able to get a few tricks, tips, both of them, out of this particular Christmas decoration. Let's watch. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna pick up my garland and I'm going to go ahead and free it from this packaging. 
that comes with it. So it comes with this tiny little zip tie. So we're just gonna go ahead and free it from it. And then the very first thing you need to do is going to go ahead and lay it on your mantle. It is a nine foot garland, you guys. It's a lot of product for under $20 and it comes with so many berries and pines. And like I told you the other day, the very first thing you need to do is fluff these guys as much as you can because look how much fuller it really looks. And I just love the flocking on it. It's super full. It comes with these cute little ornaments. And look, if you just give yourself a little bit of time and give it a little fluffing, look how much product you're going to get. Now it comes with this bow that I'm not really a fan of, but we're going to cut it out. So we'll get to it in a second because we're going to replace it with our own very ribbons. So go ahead and give your garland a big fluff so it shows. At this point, what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and bend right here so it stays in place like that. Just fluff, fluff, grab every single branch. These ornaments come on a wire. Just make sure you like make them stand forward. The berries, just go ahead and show them. Spill some of them forward. This is the fun part, just fluffing your garland and go ahead and make sure that they spill forward as well as backwards. And these bristles, we're also going to need to attach our ribbon. So we're gonna take off this ugly ribbon that it comes with. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and basically rip it off. It comes with uh, these tiny little plastic ties and it's super easy to just take it out. As you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that on the floor. So once we have our garland, sitting like this and all fluffed out. I'm gonna go ahead and press right here also so it stays secure like this. The very next, next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my lights on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my 100 lights. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that on the floor. I make sure that my uh, connection is over there. So I'm gonna start on this side so I end on the side where the connection is. That is a good tip I can give you. Always start the opposite side from where your plug-in is. But before I start threading our lights on it, I like to make sure that I plug it in and make sure that all of our lights are working because there's nothing worse than finishing your garland or your tree and finding out that your lights, well, they don't work. So I'm gonna start right here on the bottom. And just how I show you when I did my mom's staircase, which by the way, if you know how I've seen that video where I decorated my mom's staircase, you have got to go check it out. I really thought it turned out beautiful. So I'm gonna put a link right now so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, so what I do is I just lightly and very loosely zigzag my lights into the garland because if you pull tight, you're basically hiding your lights and you want them to show very well. So you wanna go ahead and just zigzag all the way back, all the way forward. And you have a hundred lights and a hundred lights it's basically perfect for nine feet of garland. So this is a nine footer. This is going to be great. I love these ornaments these garlands come with. They're just so pretty. So basically just very lightly and loosely zigzag your lights in and out, probably about every four inches like this. I remember when I worked at this place where we decorated people's houses for Christmas, my favorite thing was to do the lights because I just think it's what brings the magic of Christmas into the people's homes. So um, very loosely, as you guys can see, it took me just 100 light exactly for my nine foot garland. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this right here so it stays. So pretty so far, but this is where the fun starts, you guys. So now, the very first thing I'm gonna add is this black and white jingle bell ribbon because my focal point has a black and white scripture on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my ribbon on the floor and I'm gonna start right here on the bottom and just with the same bristles, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and give it a loop, probably about a six inch loop. And I just cannot wait to read your comments on these designs. And if you're not into the snowman theme, just keep in mind the farmhouse, glam and traditional are all gonna be done in a fireplace, so stay tuned. So very loosely, I don't want it to be perfect. As you guys know, I don't like perfection because I was taught, you know, that perfection doesn't exist. 
in nature, so why do we try to achieve it on home decorating? So I'm gonna go ahead and just loosely do it like that, going in and out. I want it to really just spill forward and backwards. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back, pull back. Always when you're doing ribbon on your garland, make sure that you go in and out, zigzag, just like how we did with the lights. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and give it a little poof. And this ribbon should be able to just stay with with a garland because if you pull it all the way in and then pull out, you don't need to be really attaching it with anything else but your garland. So there you go. One spool of ribbon was really good enough for the whole garland. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with a touch of this beautiful ribbon that we used on our lantern and also in our uh, wreath, if you guys have not seen those videos that match this particular theme, if you're new to the channel, I'm also gonna link them up down below so you guys can check it out. I'm beautiful matching wreath and a beautiful uh, lantern. So what I'm going to do is I just want this to be a little touch up here. So I'm not gonna go all the way down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach right here. It's just basically to tie the whole look together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just a few loops up on the top like this and like this. And make sure the pretty side is what shows. So we want that combination of ribbons like this, all right? Just on the top. Then I'm gonna go in with the beautiful sparkly red ribbon from um, Dollar Tree and also just on the top. Actually, I'm gonna do right here in the corner. I'm gonna start attaching right here in the corner and I just want this little red to show just a little peekaboo of it because it will give it that sparkle. Keep in mind that we're gonna load this with ornaments. I'm gonna let it just hang right here. And then I'm gonna grab another piece and I'm gonna start from the other side. And like I said, I just want it to be in the corners like so. Here we go with the lights. So uh, I know I'm gonna hear about it later. All right, just like that. So basically just in the corners. And I have a tiny little piece right here. So I'm gonna save it for later. All right, so this is when our little garland from last year, you guys, if you have not seen the video, first of all, thumbs up if you guys seen the video where I show you how to make this beautiful garland. These garlands retail on the market for like 50 some dollars. We basically made it for like less than $10. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this guy up here on the top to give us some ornaments. And I'm gonna go ahead and just attach it. You can make it as long as you want. If you can do a whole tree with it. Right here, I'm just gonna use it as a touch of ornaments. And remember, we always go back at the end and fluff everything that we've done. So we first want to secure it and then we'll fluff it, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here. Fluff it and then you just wanna make sure that your ribbons show. But we'll do all of that at the end. All right, so the next step is to go ahead and put some of these big clusters of ornaments. And if you guys haven't seen the video where I show you how to make them, also down below you can find it. But we're basically just clustering these big ornaments. Uh, I'm making these big clusters. These ones have five in medium, small, and large. So I'm gonna do one right here in the corner. And with your pipe cleaner, you basically just swirl it around. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab yet another one. Make sure that you always get rid of these pesky, pesky tags. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it right here. And look how much that really fills in. I love working with these clusters. And just so you know, I have a Christmas tree coming up with this particular theme and I cannot wait to show you guys the Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. And then also we have the rest of my mom's house coming for Christmas. We have entryways, oh, we have so much going on you guys. And I'm so excited to be able to show you. All right, so I'm gonna do probably right about here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring one of those bristles and attach like this. Make sure that you pull some of that ribbon so it shows. But we'll be back to it in a second. So we're gonna go do one more. Oh, my ornament's escaping. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy right here. And then I'm gonna drive this pipe cleaner through. 
pull down and just creates this cluster. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. Like so. Now at this point, you wanna make sure you pull some of your ribbon forward, all of them, so they show, like, especially the black and white one because it is like our focal ribbon. So make sure that you flap it like this. Now I'm gonna go in and dovetail all of my ends. I like it better and I like it when they fall, fall forward like that. Look what I'm gonna do right here. There's a swag right here, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut and create tails because that just gives it so much texture if you just pull it forward like that. And I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna do the same to this guy right here. It just is just creating something unexpected. You know, like most people expect to see like the typical garland. Well, this is not your typical garland, right? And I have one more cluster that I'm gonna put right here. Now you can make these clusters of twos, threes, five, sevens, as many as you like. We're gonna pull this ribbon up so it shows like that. All right, so I also love the way this looks. It is so full of ornaments, so full of ribbon. And then I bought this guy right here. I'm gonna stand it up, which was our main source of inspiration. And he is this snowman dad with his little child. And then I have this little stand that I'm gonna put right behind my design. I have two of them. You could also do candlesticks to hold our other elements up. Make sure that it's um, centered. So probably around here. Then our snowman is gonna go right here. And if you guys remember the snowman that I used on our lanterns, well, I went out and bought another one for this design. Just make sure you take that pesky tag off. And we're gonna go ahead and place him right here. So it's like a family of snowmen. And here's our other one. I'm gonna go ahead and put him right here. And what really is going to set off this design is going to be the bow that I show you guys how to make for our lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm showing I'm gonna bring him down so I can attach it. So I want to be right here on the corner. So I'm gonna drive, already pre-drill a hole right here on the back. I'm gonna drive this right here. I'm gonna pull really forward and I'm gonna swirl it around. So our bow stays right here. Look you guys, and just like this, you have, make sure you fluff that bow, a beautifully designed fireplace on the snowman theme. What do you guys think? Wasn't that fun? I love this snowman theme so much that now I'm gonna share with you how to create the matching perfect wreath for your front door. Remember, if you want to have a cohesive look this Christmas season, all you have to do is repeat the elements all throughout your decorations in your home, and that will give you the perfect cohesive look for Christmas. Let's watch this beautiful snowman wreath. All right, everyone, so for our snowman wreath, uh, we're gonna need a focal point, which should all be our snowman. We're also going to need various ribbons like the red glittery one, the lime green, and also we're going to use a beautiful bow. And I went ahead and made this bow to match our lantern. If you guys haven't seen the matching lantern to this, I'm gonna link up the lantern video so you can check it out. But we're gonna need a little bow made out of the same ribbons. We are also going to need a few picks of snowy branches uh, as well as this one and this beautiful uh, pine one that I absolutely love. So we're gonna need four of those. We're gonna use our wires, our wire cutters. We're gonna use our scissors and some pipe cleaners to attach our focal point. So let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a beautiful focal point up here on the top. And I always like to give these guys a little bend like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert this through the grapevine right here. And it's super easy because working with these grapevines 
um, really make the job much, much easier. So I'm just literally just gonna go ahead and follow the wreath form. And you literally just poke through there and just push like this. I'm not gonna say like so. <laughs> and then, which by the way, thank you guys so much for the support and the like. So it's just, I cannot help it. I'm just working and I cannot help but to go like so, like so, like so. All right, so we're gonna insert this guy right here to create a longer shape. And then we're gonna go ahead and give him a little fluff. These picks were found at Hobby Lobby and they have them at 50% off already. So then you're gonna go ahead and insert this. Just make sure you keep pushing like so. All right, so once you have it that way, what you wanna do is you wanna grab one of your zip ties and then you wanna zip tie all of these together very tight just so they stay in place. In case you put it outside, then you don't have to worry about the wind blowing it and things. So, all right, so I'm gonna put that right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach my bow. And to do that, I'm gonna grab a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and swirl them around. When you have a short pipe cleaner, you can just go ahead and swirl two of them around and it gives you a longer pipe cleaner to attach. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bow right here. I'm gonna take it down from the form. And this stand, if you're wondering, is just uh, an easel that you can find at any florist. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this with my pipe cleaners like this, right? And then you have your focal point. And actually, you could just stop right here. This is really pretty, like this. You can just leave it like that but because I wanted to match with my snowman lantern, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab three silver pipe cleaners and I'm gonna make a long one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swirl them around like so, or like this. So we're gonna make a really long one because it's gonna have to go around the little snowman's fat little waist. All right, so here's one. Uh, you could use any type of wire, but I just decided the silver would go best with this theme. Uh, you could also do a white one. I don't have a white one. White one would be ideal, but I don't have a white one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a really long one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach my snowman right here at the waist. And I wanna make sure that uh, I have equals on each side. And just pull really tight, make sure his scarf is loose. Pull as tight as you can, and then go ahead and swirl him. And that's gonna give you something to attach to the wreath. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same going the other way. When I work as a florist and we did all these Christmas um, decorations to sell, it was my favorite thing to come up with ideas to use these um, items, you know, cause you usually buy them to set them somewhere on top of a bookcase, but it's also fun to create focal points like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my ribbons, which we'll get to in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and sit this guy right here. And then using my pipe cleaners, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach to the form. And you want you want to make sure that you could use an extra set of hands right now. But just so you know, I'm gonna get it done all by myself. Because there's nobody here to help. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach and by pulling this really tight on the other side, it really will balance them off. And just have to make sure that you pull really, really tight and he stays in place. And then you can go back and finesse if you have to. And look, he'll stay there, he won't go anywhere. And then with my extra tails of ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna crinkle them up like this and give them a little bit of play. You could attach them if you wanted to with a pipe cleaner so they don't move, but I think it's fine. And then what I have is these uh, little tails that I show you how to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach a few more of these tails in the green and the red, it kinda make this bow bigger than actually is. And I'm gonna show you how to make one of those. So what you need to do is just go ahead and cut a tail, probably about eight to 10 inches long. Then what you wanna do is fold it in half and then you pinch right here. And with one of these skewers or these stakes that you can find at any florist department, you can find them at Hobby Lobby. They have a little wire, you stroll that wire around and then you might wanna sure that you dovetail this like this. And then you can insert this guy over here. And as you guys can see, it's super easy and super fast to create something beautiful like this. All right, so I'm gonna insert the last tail right here. And then once you're done inserting your tails, what you wanna do is you wanna go back and fluff your bows, make sure your tails are showing like this. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the door.
You guys, I am obsessed with the little fat snowman and I cannot wait to share more of that later on this season. Remember, this is our last Christmas in July video for our Christmas decorations 2022. And right now I'm gonna share with you a beautiful and super quick DIY for a reindeer. I think you're gonna like it. All right, you guys, so for today's quick tip, I just wanna show you how to spruce up this really cute reindeer neck. So what we're gonna do is so I'm gonna grab this garland and any garland will do. But I do like this one because it's a, a little bit snowed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this around his neck. No rhyme or reason. I just want him to look like he just went to the forest and got tangled up in some of this really pretty garland. So once you attach it, what you do need to make sure is that you fluff it a little bit. So if there's any flyaways, make sure that they fly away and let it also sweep up and down. You wanna make sure that it really looks intentional. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece of ribbon right here. And before I attach it, it's gonna be his scarf. I'm gonna hang down some tails, all right? So I'm gonna go make sure that I put it right here. It's kinda of like a scarf, but it's really not. It's going to be a bow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tie that real quick. So I'm gonna have three bows right here. Then I have pre-made a bow already and I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one of my tails through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy now. The ends are already dovetail. I went ahead and did that to save some time, but you know, if I come to your house and your dovetails are not, I'm gonna ask you for a pair of scissors. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just fluff all of these tails and look how cute this is. Really simple, really quick. And the only other thing I'm gonna add is gonna be some of these pine cones and it's going to be a focal point. So I'm gonna add three. You know that if you've been watching this channel, you know I like to add sets of two, threes and one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here, making sure that my reindeer doesn't fall. Then I'm gonna go ahead and attach another one over to the top. I want it to be a cluster. So they have to be together, of course. So just make sure that you throw that wire right there. See, I'm telling you, it wants to fall off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the last one, which is going to be right here, right next to them. So this one, I'm just gonna swirl with this one right here to make it cluster together by hiding this wire. Then you wanna go ahead and fluff all of these pretty bows like this. Make sure all of your dovetails show. And look at that, really quick, really simple, very striking. What do you guys think? I told you this one was super quick and now I'm gonna share with you a beautiful swag for your entryway table, all done in your hand with just a few elements. I really do think that you will learn a few tricks from this one as well. And I cannot wait to read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which of all of these projects this far is your favorite. Let's watch. All right, everyone. So for this side of uh, the entryway, as you can see the Christmas tree is on this side. And if you have not seen the way we decorate a Christmas tree, all of those videos are going to be linked down below so you can check them out. But for this side, I wanted to do just like a simple swag over here to kind of accent the Christmas tree, the entryway, and the mantle. So what I'm going to do is I'm first gonna make a bow and I'm gonna use the exact same ribbon. As I mentioned to you before, it's so important that you have your tools at the ready all the time. And this is gonna be just something simple, nothing too fussy because I don't want it to take away too much from the Christmas tree. But let's be honest, I don't know, too simple. Everything has to be fussy. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dovetail all of my ribbons. And as you guys know, I just like to drop it on the floor. It is easier that way. So I just dovetail both of them. And I cannot wait to read your comments. And I've been having so much fun, you guys. And there's still so much more to go that I cannot wait to show you what's next. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the red one on the back. I'm going to give myself a few tails about that long. Then I'm going to pinch right here. And I'm gonna just do a simple bow. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here. And I'm gonna pinch again. Now here's the secret. I ran out of my gold ribbon. And at this point in the game, I just don't wanna go out and buy some more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these last two end tails that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and put one on the bottom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here on the top, like this. And this is an easy way to just add the color, right? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my wire, as I tell you, always 22 gauge wire, pre-cut wire. Take the time to pre-cut it and then you can be so fast once you have all of your 
tools ready and your wires pre-cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull really tight and I'm gonna go ahead and twist. And of course, I'm gonna use the wires to attach to the swag we're making. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut and I'm gonna cut smaller tails because like I told you, I don't want it to be overpowering my Christmas tree. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flap. So I'm gonna move those tails and I did a three loop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my red, pull it out. Then over on this side, I'm gonna grab my red and pull it out right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out over here. And just be sure to dovetail. So what I'm gonna start doing, so I'm gonna dovetail all of these tails that I added. Very short. And as I said, this is just gonna be a little accent and I am obsessed with this mesh ribbon. It is so beautiful. So every single tail is gonna have a dovetail. I'm gonna get those done and I'll be right back. Okay, so once my bow is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side and then I'm gonna bring these really beautiful sprays of snowy pine and I'm gonna go ahead and put them back to back like this. And I'm going to allow about 18 inches and then I'm gonna give it a curvature because I want it to drape all the way down to the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this eucalyptus right here and I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these eucalyptus. So I'm gonna add this guy right here like this. Now this is gonna be my center and just go ahead and give it a curvature like that. Then I'm gonna add one more of these guys right here on the top, kinda of bring it closer and give it a curvature like this. I had a third one, but I don't think we're gonna need it because I really just wanted to, oh, you know what, I'm gonna add it, why not? I'm gonna add right here, give it a curvature like this. Give it a fluff so it's fluffy like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is just a little touch of red with these berries and ornaments and just go ahead and give it a fluff like this. And then I have this really pretty champagne one that I'm gonna go ahead and put up here on the top and just go ahead and put it right there. And then with a zip tie, you know, our zip ties are our best friends for any decorator. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little zip tie and pull it really tight to make sure that it's all secure like that. Then with your wire cutters, you just go ahead and cut your excess like so. So now we put it all together, we're gonna bring our bow and I'm gonna go ahead and attach my bow right here with my wires. And we fluff. So now I'm gonna move my candles, my candlesticks that I got from Ross just for my Christmas season. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy, make sure you swag it to one side like this. And you go ahead and fluff all of your tails to make sure they all show like this. Then I'll bring some other ones of my candles and add them right here and right here. And just like that, you have a beautiful swag for an entryway table that matches our Christmas tree and the rest of our home decor. What do you guys think? Well, what can I say? This black and white with red and gold is one of my favorite things that I have ever done. If you have not seen all of those DIYs, I'm gonna link them down below, especially the Christmas tree. You have got to see this beautiful Christmas tree on a sleigh with a black and, oh, it was just absolutely beautiful. But now to continue with the black and white red theme, I'm gonna share with you the last 
Christmas DIY decoration for 2022 on this particular compilation of DIYs. And that's going to be a wreath that is super simple to make. All you need is a pre-made wreath, some ribbons and a little garland. And I really think that you will enjoy. Let's watch. As I told you at the beginning of this video, I wanted you to stick around because I have an extra tip for you and that's going to be if you can now make a lavish and gorgeous wreath like the one I just showed you with the rose gold, I want to show you how you can buy one of these pre-made ones and then also just a little garland and what you need to do is weave this garland through your wreath and it's going to give it so much more depth and as you guys can see I'm doing it with very easily and with basically no effort but you do have to make sure that this garland is weaved in and we're going to go ahead and attach it with some wire at the end but i just want to show you that if you just go in and out in between the ornaments it really helps to add some girth to the wreath some texture look at that how pretty is that okay i'm gonna go to the other side and finish over on this side then what you need to do is you're gonna grab one of your wires to secure it all and these are one of the wreaths that it's made out of grapevine and so it's real easy to just pull that wire through and then attach your wreath like this all right so once you have added this garland all you have to do is go fluff and what i love about this garland is so so dainty and so uh, wispy and you guys know i love my wispies i'm always talking to you about wispiness on the wreath all right so that added some depth so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a ribbon that will complement this wreath. We're going to get it all attached together. And in a one, two, three, you'll have a gorgeous wreath for your door. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm just going in with one of the wires that I showed you how to pre-tape earlier. And just by having all these pieces already done, it is super easy to just go in through your grapevine and then pulling through, making sure that you grab that garland and then attaching and that garland is not going anywhere anytime soon. Just keep in mind, if you want to take it apart, then to cut those wires. Okay, so now you give your wreath a little fluff, fluffing that garland. So now we're going to make a sweet bow for this. I love this. Look how gorgeous and dainty this is. Absolutely cute. All right, so now I'm going to make a cute little bow with two ribbons, and I'll show you the end result. All right, you guys, so step number two for this real quick wreath is to make a beautiful bow. And for this particular one, I chose this black and white and a little bit of silver to contrast all the silver on the wreath. So basically, I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to pull with my wire as back as I can onto the form. I'm going to take it actually off the stand so I can do this properly. There we go. So you pull really hard to the back and then you attach and just make sure that you really um, throw those wires together so they stick together. And because they're uh, pre-taped with that tape, they, I always tell you guys to get yourself a bolt and it's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna hang it right here back into the form. So I have a pretty big bow. What you need to do is fluff this bow and make it look gorgeous and lavish. We'll dovetail all these ends. But what I went ahead and did is I left these really, really long tails and the reason why is because I want to go ahead and grab right here. I'm going to pinch. Then I'm going to use this ornament right here to create a loop. And I'm going to go around it. Go all the way around that ornament to secure it. And then you've created a little loop. And then we'll go ahead and dovetail this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead, pull this guy up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Making sure that that designer part of the ribbon shows. So I'm going to go ahead and just pinch right here, find my ornament that I want to go ahead and twist around to secure, make your loop, and then bow. And because I have another tail right here, I'm going to go ahead and give it an even longer loop right here. And I'm going to grab this ornament and then I'm going to go ahead and twist around the ornament and just pull. And as you guys can see, this is more about the bow. This is a really good way to use your ribbons and to make them really stand out. Now this one I have, I'm gonna go ahead and dab tail. So I'm gonna do a really short tail, always cutting up. And then you wanna go ahead and give him that little crinkle. Now this one I'm gonna do a longer tail. So I'm gonna make sure that it stands out to create a little bit of 
visual interest. And then this guy right here, I'm gonna go ahead, well, first of all, make sure that it's really attached to our ornament. When you go around, just go ahead and pull on that. That is gonna make sure that it's secured. Make sure you give yourself enough give to make that loop. And then we're gonna go ahead and dovetail right here. And as you guys can see, I always tell you to go ahead and fluff your ribbons at the end. And as you can see, it didn't use a lot of product. All you needed was a little wreath, a garland, and a few ribbons, and you have yourself a beautiful wreath for your door for Christmas. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today, and I really hope you enjoy all of these 10 Christmas DIYs. They are super easy decorations for your Christmas decor 2022. I wanna take a second to thank again this week's members for becoming a member. If you want to join the members, be sure to click the join button down below or the link in the description box. And remember, it has to be done through a computer. If you have not seen last week's video, I'm gonna link it right here. It's another 10 Christmas DIY decorations to inspire you to get going with Christmas. It'll be here before we know it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing. You can watch more videos right now. Until next time. Bye.